What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can create, move, and resize openings for doors and windows. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's some tools inside of Rhino that are very helpful for this kind of thing. And so basically we've got a house right here, or more of a garage, I guess. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut some openings. And then we're gonna talk about how we can resize those openings. This is especially valuable for doors and windows. So usually the tool that I'm using for creating these openings is the wire cut tool. So if you type in wire cut, right here. And so I've got all these rectangular shapes in here and I wanna use them to cut openings. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select an object like this hit the inner key, and what that's done is that's selected a cutting curve. Now I can click on a surface, hit the inner key, and notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to set a cutting depth, right? You don't want it to cut all the way through the back, you just want it to cut right here, um, so deep enough that it gets all the way through your wall. And then it's gonna show you kind of a preview of what's gonna be cut away. You can hit the inner key, and now you have an opening right here. So we're gonna do that for the rest of these really quick. The cool thing about this is you can select multiple cutting curves at once in order to cut multiple openings. So we're gonna hit the inner key right here. We'll go ahead, set this deep enough that it's gonna cut a hole and hit the inner key. Then we'll do the same thing over here. So wire cut, select, 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 inner key, select the object to cut, move your mouse, cut your openings. So this is actually really easy to do and it's usually the tool that I'm using in order to cut openings inside of Rhino. Now, let's say, because this does happen, that you need to do something with these openings. So say that they were created at the wrong size. So one thing that you can do um, is you can come in here and select the associated geometry. So if I was to come in here like this, remember that you can do a control shift click in order to select objects. So I'm just holding down control and shift and I'm clicking in order to select these faces like this. And then you can just move this geometry around. So that is a valid way of doing that. And sometimes that'll do what you need it to do. Um, so this is a good way to kind of move that geometry around in order to move your opening. Um, it's not the way that I necessarily recommend though. So really there's two, though I do recommend that for something else in a minute. So stick around for that. But there's two tools built into Rhino, which I find to be very valuable. The first is the move hole command. So if I type in move hole like this, what it's gonna do is it's going to ask me to select a hole in a planar surface. Well, notice I can click on this object right here, hit the enter key, and then it's basically gonna put me in move mode and I can click in order to move the hole. And notice when I move the hole, the hole is going to move on my surface like this. That is extremely valuable, especially if you wanna do something like moving all of these windows. So say that we were to do a move hole right here, and we're gonna select one, two, three, four, hit the inner key, and so I can use this in order to move these holes in the surface. So I can just slide them over like this, Notice how those holes are going to be moved in your surface. Now, one thing that I might do with all this extra geometry, sorry, this is a different discussion, but one thing I might do with this extra geometry is maybe create a layer for it. So I'm just gonna go into my layers function. On layer zero one, I'm going to rename this something like drawing geometry right here. And then I can just click on the little button down here to put these on drawing geometry double click so this isn't the current layer and I'll just toggle them off. So now I have that if I need to use it again, um, but I'm not going to have to mess with it anymore. Now, um, one thing about this is move hole does not work. So if we do move hole, it's not going to work on these doors because they're not really, I mean, they're technically a hole, but because they're not surrounded on four sides, Rhino doesn't recognize them as a hole. However, if you were to come in here and try to use the gumball trick from before, so we're just going to do a control shift, click on the surface, control shift, click on the surface, like this. Sometimes this works fine. And sometimes you get some kind of like weird 
triangular geometry in here, like the edges don't necessarily move the way that they're supposed to. So what you can do instead is you can use a tool called Move Face. What Move Face is gonna do is it's gonna tell you to select the faces. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this face up, this face up, I'm going to hold Control to deselect this one. And I'll pick this face up and then hit enter. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to move those faces around in a much more, um, in a much more predictable way. And so I usually recommend that move face whenever you're trying to move door openings. Now, one other thing with move face is you can also, if we do a move face right here, you can pick up just part of this. So I'm gonna pick up this face right here, hit the enter key and then click but notice how I can use this in order to resize openings as well. So if you needed to make this garage a little bit, this garage door a little bit bigger or smaller, you could use the move face function in here to do this. Now, one other thing about that, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, let's put this on a layer. So we're just gonna call this roof. We're gonna go ahead and we'll drop it on the roof layer. And then I'm gonna toggle my roof off but say you wanted to adjust the size of this building. So say it was too tall, you could also use the move face function and you can pick up this face and this face, hit the enter key and move the faces up and down. So you can make this taller or shorter just by moving that geometry right here. So probably in this case, we'd wanna be a little bit careful, but we could drop this down if our house needed to be shorter using that move face function. Now, remember if you do that, you are gonna to want to also move that roof down so that it aligns with this opening right here, but you can use the movement of faces in here in order to resize other things about your objects. And then once you have like window and door objects inside of the holes, you just move them to align with the new opening. So it shouldn't be especially hard to do. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.